Hi everybody, it's Richie here. I've been trying out the new Galaxy Note 7 and I've been particularly intrigued with the Iris Scanner Security Lock technology. Um, so what I thought I'd do today is throw up some different scenarios and circumstances that you might be able to use the Iris Scanner in. So uh, let's give that a go. All right, so the first one is the obvious one. You're in good light. Um, you've got both eyes open after you've done the uh, iris scanner register registration. So let's just try that out. And we just swipe across. Wow, and that was quick. So I didn't even see my own eyes come up onto the screen. Now if we if I come a bit further away, it might take a little bit more time. Yeah, but it still managed to get it. But obviously the, the ideal space is a bit closer. So if I come in a bit more, do it again. You can see how quick that was. All right, so let's try a scenario where I've only got one eye open, for example. So let's do that now. Yep, it worked. And what about the other eye? That worked as well. All right, so what about one eye using the other circle? No, it doesn't like it. But if you put it across here, it doesn't like it. No, it doesn't like it. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, oh, it worked. That was that was a bit strange. All right, let's try that again. All right, so it can do one eye. We know that. Uh, let's do that again. One eye. Did it work? Yes, it does work. So you can use just the one eye. But obviously for, uh, you know, efficiency and, and economy and... and, and Overall quickness, two eyes is obviously the best. All right, so let's try something different. Let's try with some glasses on, some reading glasses. So let's put some reading glasses on now, and I'll give it another go. Let's see what happens this time. Yep, that's quick as well. Um, what about with uh, sunglasses like these ones here? Let's try those on, and let's see how that comes out. Yes, it did recognize it. Now, it took a little bit more time. These are polarized glasses, but it did manage to see, still get through the glasses and see my eyes. Okay, so let's try another scenario now. Let's turn the lights off. Okay, so here we go. All right, so the lights are off. So we're going to give this a go and see how quick it is. Yep, quite good. Now, it took a little bit more time, not as quick as when we had full light. Now, what if I do, again, that one-eyed thing when we're in darkness. Oh, doesn't like it. Both eyes, yep. And let's try it again with one eye. Yep, so, oh, okay, so recognize my left eye, not my right eye. Let's try that one more time. Give it another chance. No, it didn't like, doesn't like my right eye for some reason. Hmm. Maybe it's only getting my left eye. I'm not really sure. Okay, we'll, we'll try it. How about with glasses this time in the darkness? Because obviously you might use reading glasses in the dark. So let's try that. Yep, it does. Again, it takes a little bit more time, but it did work. What about sunglasses in the dark? So here's my sunglasses. These are really dark now. Let's give these a go. Let's turn it on. These are, and you can see here, you can take, you, the infrared can see right through to my eyes. Yes, and it does again, so it takes quite a bit of time. So it is struggling, um, but obviously that is not going to be a situation that you're going to commonly occur where you have sunglasses on in the dark and you're using your iris scanner. That, but okay, hey, we're here to test it out to its full potential, right? Um, so let's turn the lights back on. Okay, so hopefully that's given you a, uh, a bit of an idea on how the iris scanner performs. Um, we'll try one more time in uh, normal light again, just to uh, confirm how well it does work in kind of that you know, bright light kind of scenario. And wow, that was quick. So uh, yeah, hopefully that gives you a good idea of that, uh, that security measure. Uh, for any comments, uh, leave, leave, some, um, leave your thoughts in the comments area below. I'll be back with obviously some new videos. So I look forward to your comments and until next time.